Well guys, it looks like they did it again. Lilo and Stitch has now found Nani's boyfriend and they have casted the live action version for this remake of this character. And of course, this character is actually played by a real life Hawaiian person. And of course, as we all know by now, not all Hawaiian people are super extreme dark skin. And just like this particular person, he is also not super dark skin and woke Twitter is losing their minds. They feel like this is an attack against black people for some reason. No idea how they're correlating the two. They're trying to say this goes again goes against Hawaiian culture, even though I'm pretty sure most of the people who are saying that have no idea what Hawaiian culture even is. I don't know if they uh, thought that all Hawaiian people are basically dark skin like this, but apparently a lot of Hawaiian people, uh, honestly, a lot of Hawaiian people look like this they do have that kind of skin complexion they're not all super dark skin like it is in the disney movies so of course woke twitter is going insane and cbr.com a show media website has decided to write an article on this and we're gonna go over it so let's see what it has to say so it says lilo and stitch live action remake cast nani's boyfriend disney lilo and stitch live action film has found his david kawena the cool surfer who goes on to become nani's boyfriend later in the franchise this article is written by miki suzuki who is an anime profile picture person? I'm not surprised. Disney's upcoming live action film, Lilo and Stitch, has found its David. As revealed by The Hollywood Reporter, Lilo and Stitch, David Kawina, the cool surfer with a sincere romantic interest in Lilo's older sister Nani, is set for portrayal by newcomer Kahiyahu Machado. The Hollywood Reporter reached out to Disney, who declined to comment on the casting. I'm not surprised Disney declined to comment at all because this is not something that's going to allow them to virtue signal, and they know it. I guarantee you that Disney is casting these people simply because they are Hawaiian and they were hoping that by casting actual Hawaiian people that woke Twitter was going to be like oh this is so diverse this is so amazing little did they know they underestimated the complete idiocy of woke Twitter and not realizing that all they were going to do was look at skin color and say this person is clearly too white to play this person. And that's what people are complaining. They're doing the same thing for the other casting of Nani, and they're going to do the same thing with this casting for David. And I guarantee you they're going to keep doing it with other casting if the other casting is too light skin. And at this point, they have considered this movie to be whitewashed. That is their mentality. They think that this Lilo and Stitch live action remake is whitewashed. And you know what? I'm all for it because they fucking deserve it. It says Machado previously played for the University of Hawaii Warriors men's volleyball team as a defensive specialist. According to his Hawaii Athletics page, Machado is 6'2 and hails from Kaneohe, Oahu. I hope I said that right. In addition to Machado's casting as David, actor Zach Galifianakis joined the live action as the voice of Pleakley, a green special agent alien who works with Dr. Jumba to recapture Experiment 626, also known as Stitch. I really want to know how they're going to pull Stitch off. I, I got to imagine that it's going to be CGI, obviously, unless they're going to go the Mandalorian route and go buy like a Walmart toy and pretend like it's the greatest thing ever, which they very well might be able to do. But again, I highly doubt they could pull this off in a live action Lilo and Stitch. So of course, uh, Stitch is going to be CGI and I imagine the aliens will probably be CGI as well. I would be highly surprised if they are played by people. Um, but then again, if they go with a more practical look, I guess it is possible. But then what are you going to do with Stitch? I don't know, man. It seems like it's going to be something like the Sonic movie where obviously Sonic is fully CGI, uh, but everybody else in the movie is live action. I'm pretty sure they could pull something like that off. It's just going to be a little weird what they do with the aliens, but hey, it's not like we haven't seen humans play aliens before in movies, so it's very much, very much possible. It says, additionally, newcomer uh, Mayo Keola will betray Lilo, while Kaiwa local Sydney Elizabeth Agodong will play Nani, Lilo's older sister. Although Agodong has native Hawaiian ancestry and was born and raised on the island, Lilo and Stitch takes place on her casting as Nani come on the fire for whitewashing. Many fans of the original movie criticized Disney for colorism. I'm so glad that uh, CBR has brought up the whole colorism debate because, again, who else would uh, do this entire article based off colorism? CBR, of course, or maybe even Kotaku, or you can name whatever show media website you want to, but they all basically talk about the same exact thing. So it says David Kawena made his first appearance in Lilo and Stitch as a fire dancer at the Luau Lilo's sister Nani works at. Like Nani, David appears to have issues maintaining regular employment, as shown when he makes a mistake during his performance at the Luau and sets both himself and the stage on fire. Depicted as good and loyal friend, David has his romantic interest in Nani, but understands her responsibility towards Lilo and prioritizes their friendship ahead of his personal 
personal feelings. Although David's character does not enter in a romantic relationship with Nani by the end of Lilo and Stitch, there is heavy implication that he becomes her boyfriend at some point in the franchise. Man, these guys really love their heavy implications, you know what I mean? Like, if it's something that's not completely spelled out, they love to look into this. I'm guaranteeing that at some point, they're probably going to say some character in Lilo and Stitch was heavily implied to be gay. It's no shocker that this is what they do. They try to look for things and claim that it's real and claim that it's true. They do the same thing with Velma, and they did the same thing with, uh, apparently, Link, who's always been gay, apparently. And now they're doing the same thing with Lilo and Stitch. It's just something that they do. So I really am curious as to just how bad the meltdown is going to be for this movie. Like, I, I almost guarantee that the movie is probably going to do well just because it's going to become one of those movies where people are going to pick sides. And I guarantee you that the woke mob is going to try to attack this movie for whitewashing, which is automatically going to make a certain side want to go see the movie and support it just because. And I almost question if whether or not Disney actually planned this or not. They must have known that people were going to complain and think it was whitewashing. They must have known because people are not smart. And it's not like they were going to look up the actress's origins to see if she actually came from Hawaii. That much has been made clear by all the arguments that have been happening on Twitter. Everybody's losing their mind saying that it's whitewashing when the person who's playing it is not even a white person. She is Hawaiian by birth. And it makes you wonder just how stupid people are. But again, Disney has to know their clientele. They have to, right? Like, I, I would imagine they have to, especially when they pander to them 24-7. So it makes me curious as to whether or not this is purposeful to see and probably experiment with the idea of okay what if we go the other way how successful could our, could our movie potentially be um i promise you it probably could be very successful if you have to pick sides because the side that actually spends money would be the one to go support this just because they know it would make other people uh, who don't spend money go crazy so it's only a matter of time before we find out what happens with lilo and stitch but honestly i'm pretty excited about it because i love seeing woke twitter lose their minds and honestly it's hypocritical i've said it in many videos already and i'm going to keep saying it it is absolutely hypocritical to complain about about this but then be perfectly fine with the little mermaid and you can talk all you want about how little mermaid is fictional but lila one stitch is also fictional then you can say well it's based in an actual lore when it comes to hawaii well it doesn't matter because the little mermaid is a danish story so then what happens there it all kind of references a certain point in time in history and you're choosing to ignore one but not the other why is that because of course these characters were originally depicted as dark skin so that's why you're upset you're perfectly fine with the white skin original characters to be swapped to black but god forbid it happens the other way even though it's not being swapped to a white person it's being swapped to a, a hawaiian person who happens to be light skin you go crazy it just doesn't make any sense the hypocrisy is mind-numbing at this point and honestly you deserve to be laughed at for it so anyway guys thank you so much for watching this video i hope you did enjoy it and if you did consider leaving me a subscribe i would greatly appreciate it don't forget to like the video comment let me know what you thought and i'll see you guys on the next one hypnotic out